You have a laptop that sounds like this and it's getting hot like crazy. I'm pretty sure it's time for maintenance. I bet that a good cleanup and some new thermal paste will gonna do the trick. Let's do it. What we need for this process is a Phillips screwdriver, some thermal paste from Arctic. This is what I have, you can use whatever you want. Some alcohol, this is 99.9 .9 purity, but you can use anything above 70 should be okay. And some earbuds that will gonna help us to clean the old thermal paste. Before we start, we're gonna unplug the laptop. As you can hear it, it's going like crazy. And we're gonna shut it down. And no, this is not my laptop. It's my friend's laptop. I don't keep them like this. So let's go. Come on, it takes a while to close. Perfect. Let's turn it. Before we start, just to let you know, this is a Asus laptop. It's TUF or TUFFX505. First thing that we need to do is take out the screws and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 screws, so let's start taking all these screws out. One important thing that uh, you need to take in consideration is it has two types of screws. I'm not sure if you can see them, but they are two different sizes. The short ones, like, sorry, like this, they are on the lower part, one, two, three, four, and the one in the middle. So we have five short ones, and after we have one, two, three, four, five, six, the longer ones. Try not to mix them, as I'm pretty sure if you put the long ones in the middle or in the front, you'll, it's possible you have some issues. You can hit something that you don't want. To take the cap out, you can use a card or anything like from plastic that's thin and we're not gonna scratch your chassis, the plastic of it. And what I've done, I've started from the corners, I've primed them, after you just raise them. If you're interested, I just use this spatula that came with the thermal paste. Let's take the cap out. Wow. The cooler from the processor, it's, uh, yeah, it's not even moving. If I can zoom in, look at this, it's barely moving. So, probably he never cleaned it. No, probably, I'm pretty sure he never cleaned it since he bought it. The second fan it looks a bit better but not well. So let's take it apart. First thing that I recommend is unplug the battery. That's it. And just to be sure, let's take it off from the chassis. And now I see this plastic tip here. Let's just press it a bit, prime it, and done. So we took out the battery. Bloody hell, even the battery needs cleaning. Doesn't surprise me. Four years, four years, no cleaning, that's a lot. And now we're gonna start with the, the fans and the radiator. Let's take the screws. This here is the CPU and this here is the GPU. Just to let you know, if you're interested, we have four screws on the CPU and we have four more on the GPU. After taking these four screws out from the CPU and this from the GPU, slowly we need to prime it and to raise it from the motherboard. Just go slowly. You need to remember that it has quite a lot of ears. And that's it. As you can see, the thermal paste is rock solid. It's really, really bad. Plus the radiators. I'm sure you can see, but they saw better days. So this will run me to 
between proper radiators thermal paste and now let's take out the fans one two three But what I can see, this is the power cable from the fan, so I'm going to take it out. Perfect. So that's one of the fans. This one it doesn't look really bad, so we're gonna give it a good clean. And let's see the other one. So this one has just two screws, one here and one there and now we need to let me take this cable out okay and of course we need to unplug it and this one looks really Looking at it, uh, the whole bloody laptop needs a good feeling. Yeah. The radiator looks clean, looks a lot better, it's not perfect. I'm gonna go one more time with alcohol over it, but it's almost there. The coolers are clean. Now let's add the thermal paste. So we're going to put a bit on the CPU. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to install the fans. This I could have done it before, but not a problem. Now we're just going to put the radiators, okay. And myself, what I like to do, is I press it a bit. And then I just raise it and check how the thermal paste and everything made contact. After we took it out, I just added a bit more thermal paste on the processor and you put it back again. This is how I do, it's up to you. I just like to double check everything. Sorry the mess, a lot of dust, so we're gonna need to clean everything after. Now, and that is the reason why as you can probably hear the fans they are working normal now they are not going like crazy uh, the temperature what I can see for the moment on the video card from task manager I have approximately 7 degrees less than before so that's really good and the most important part that you need to remember is better cooling better performance thank you guys for watching and remember if you like this type of videos click subscribe take care and have a nice day